Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome to a video where I will be reflecting on my first year of university at the University of Toronto. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to get notified about upcoming content. And also follow my Instagram if you'd like to keep up with what I do in a day since I post on my story almost daily. Guys, I am done my first year of university at UFT and it's literally crazy to think about because what do you mean I'm on summer break right now? It literally flew by so fast. And me and my friends always say this, like we thought high school went by so quick. This first year of university was literally like a blip in time because I blinked and it was over. And I almost don't want it to be, but I'm also very happy that I made it through. So in terms of my reflection, there are so many things I wanna share with you guys, but I'm not gonna be here rambling for like hours on end. So I'll kind of get to the point for each of the things that I want to kind of discuss with you guys. There are a couple of things I would like to reflect on, specifically four things. So we have academics, clubs, friends, and work. Super quick disclaimer, everything that I say in my reflection is based on my own personal experiences and values and whatnot. And so take what I say with a grain of salt. All right, so in terms of academics, Personally, I think I did pretty well. I did reach kind of the goal I set for myself. And I think that's really important actually, like set goals for yourself and do your best to reach them. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with how things went with my academics. I took courses that I really enjoyed. Yeah, overall in terms of academics, I think I'm pretty happy with how I performed and how I did. Definitely in first semester, I was a lot more motivated and in second semester, kind of fell off a little bit, but I hopped back into the wagon. It just took a little bit more effort to get back to where I was. I just wasn't as motivated. It was the second semester and I was honestly a little bit burnt out. And so I think it's really important if you want to keep on top of your academics to time manage and honestly like take breaks, take care of yourself. And I do want to say, you know, UFT is known for being U of tears or like super rigorous academically and it is, but it's not impossible to get good grades as long as you keep on top of your work and make sure that you're balancing academics and also taking care of yourself and your mental health and things like that very important yeah so moral of the story it's not impossible to get good grades know yourself your limits and find something that motivates you second thing i want to touch on is clubs i would talk about sports but i didn't participate in any sports in first year at uft so i can't really speak on any of that so i'll focus on clubs so with my experience of clubs there's certainly a great way to kind of get out there and get out of your comfort zone, which is really great. I think it's a very important experience to have when you go to university. So I was a part of four different clubs for first year at UFT. I was a part of Archery Club, Pre-Law Student Association, The Strand Paper, which is Victoria College's student newspaper, and The Varsity, which is UFT's tri-campus newspaper. I was a part of the first two as general members, the Strand Paper, I was a copy editor, and for the Varsity, I was the associate editor for the business and labor section. So with Archery Club, I joined at the very start of the year, but as the year went on, I honestly didn't go to that many of the open range hours. There just wasn't enough time to be doing all of these things. I think in high school, it's so much easier to kind of join a whole bunch of different clubs because they all have their designated times, like Monday lunch, Tuesday after school, Wednesday morning, and whatnot. This was definitely not the case in university. Like you really need to be organizing everything in your schedule to make specific time for that. And that was honestly a hurdle for me because with all of your class times and then you trying to fit in work and then, you know, everything, it was a bit more messy in my opinion. And that was just like really hard. Like I really had to be so motivated to go to a club meeting. I wasn't really that motivated for archery, so I just didn't go that much. For the pre-law society, I was a general member. So for first years, the pre-law student association at UFT, a lot of what you could participate in were just very general and informational event types. And yeah, they had pretty fun events. I would go to some of them occasionally. And over there, I'd also get to connect with other students who are interested in law kind of get to know each other and so that was pretty nice i enjoyed those events i also joined the association's mentorship program where you would get paired up with an older student who was applying to or already applied to law school and that was a really great experience you know i met my mentor and she's awesome shout out to you if you're watching with the strand paper it was pretty great i had a great time editing 
articles, but honestly, their meeting times clashed with one of my courses, so I just wasn't able to go. So I wasn't really able to interact with the community that much, which was pretty unfortunate. I would say my main biggest club that I was a part of was the Varsity, since I actually did have like an executive position in the organization. I was to participate a lot more. There were certain hour commitments that was expected. It was really great. I really loved being at the Varsity because honestly, it was such a huge student organization. There, there were a lot of upper year students and a lot of different perspectives at the Varsity. So it was really easy for me to ask certain questions I had about, you know, UFT and their experience. And so, yeah, I think it was really great. It was a really fun community to be in. And, and I'm very grateful that I decided to join. Overall, I'm very happy with my experience with clubs at UFT for first year. Honestly, it was very intimidating as a freshman to be joining clubs because I was like, oh my god, everyone here is an upper year, but I'm very happy I put myself out there. I think I learned a lot and I met a lot of very interesting people. I'm very glad that I joined the clubs I did. Next, I want to reflect on friends. So UFT is obviously a huge school. There's a lot of different students and that means there's a lot of different people you can meet. And that can be intimidating at first and it was for me. I was like, oh my God, there's so many different people. But honestly, everyone I've met so far has been very nice, very kind, very welcoming, you know? In my own experience, I think UFT students are very open. Honestly, I've made friends at UFT in literally any situation like in a class or even just sitting on the street somewhere on campus, through social media as well. One thing that is so important about making friends in university, especially as a first year and commuter, you need to go to orientation, which is the week of fun activities and events that the university hosts for its incoming students. So important that you go. So, so, so important. Some of my greatest friends right now I met at orientation. It's honestly such a bonding moment for everyone because everyone is there looking for friends. You know what I'm saying? Overall, I'm very, very grateful to have met all of my friends from first year, whether that's through classes, orientation, or social media. Shout out to you guys. Last thing I wanna reflect on is work. So at the very start of first semester, for a very short period of time, I was actually working three part-time jobs and that was really intense while being a full-time student. That was a lot. I really don't recommend that. Around the mid of first semester and onward, I only worked two part-time jobs while being a full-time student. I do want to preface that one of my part-time jobs was only one hour shifts, and that's really different than part-time jobs that expect five or more hours. So that's just something to keep in mind. That's probably why I was able to do two part-time jobs. So for my two part-time jobs in first year, one of them i was working as sort of like a teacher assistant for this after school program at elementary schools and my second job was a work study position as a digital content creator for uft my experience with work study was really great i met really amazing and inspiring people my boss is awesome the university really recognizes that you are a student during this work study and so they're very accommodating and flexible with time and things like that Honestly, amazing experience. I'm really glad that I decided to apply to work studies in the summer and I would certainly recommend anyone else too. All right guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here. To anyone who's heading into their first year of university or are in first year of university, take care of yourself, have a good time, and honestly really savor the moment when you're living it because it flies by way too fast. There's so many more things I wanna reflect on and discuss with you guys, but frankly, my phone storage cannot take any more of me rambling so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye